Hello there and thank you so much for clicking on my review of the 2022 Ram 1500 Limited 10th Anniversary Edition trim. The Ram is the third best selling vehicle in North America and in 2019 and 2021 it became the second most popular pickup truck only behind the Ford F-150. Now the Ram truck has been around since 1981 as first part of the Dodge brand, but in 2012 Ram trucks became their own brand and to celebrate their 10th year anniversary, Ram released a limited edition truck for the 2022 model year. The Ram trims start with the base tradesman truck followed by the big horn and Laramie trims which add on more luxury features. If you value off for performance in your Ram, there is the Rebel trim. Last but certainly not least is the top of line limited trim which has all the bells and whistles and comes with a V8 Hemi engine. My review model is powered by the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi which has both the e-torque and multiple displacement system or MDS. I'll go into further details as to what these systems entail later on in the review but to get you started, e-torque is 48 volt electric motor that replaces the standard alternator. This electric motor works with the gas engine to improve torque and fuel economy. MDS is just a fancy way of saying that the V8 Hemi will shut off cylinders to improve fuel economy. As for power, the 5.7 liter V8 puts out 295 horsepower and 410 foot pounds of torque and the Ram 1500 would tow up to 12,500 pounds. The Ram 1500 Limited also has some other very cool features. For one, it has a four corner air suspension system to help on road and towing performance as well as one of the most luxurious interiors out of any pickup truck available on the market today. That said though, the Ram 1500 has a few downsides that I will discuss later on in the review. But before I continue the review though, I just want to give a big shout out to our friends at Tripod, Folding, and Video, and Drone on Vancouver Island. We're happy to be one of their clients that always gives a hand to putting these videos together. If you're in the Nanamba area looking for professional photo, video, and drone services, they can help. Link to the website will be in a pinned comment below. So let's get back to the review. When it comes to the Ram 1500 exterior, I can say I really am a huge fan. I think it simultaneously mixes rugged truck looks with just super elegant design. The current and fifth generation of the Ram was introduced for the 2019 model year, yet somewhat unconventionally, the older style is still being built and sold. However, the older style is now referred to as the classic Ram. Ram claims that the new fifth generation Rams offer superior performance and luxury, whereas classic Rams are cheaper and thus more accessible for new buyers. LED lighting is an available option, generally standard for the higher trims. While the vast majority of the Ram 1500 is constructed from steel, the hood, tailgate, engine mounts, and lower control arms are made from aluminum to cut weight. All said and done, a Ram 1500 Limited should weigh in around 53 to 5600 pounds depending on whether you get the quad or crew crab. The Ram 1500 Limited has a lot of cool features up its sleeve, but probably the most notable fact is that it has four corner air suspension that supports auto leveling. If you tow a lot, air suspension is an invaluable feature. The air suspension also supports auto leveling, which basically means your Ram suspension system will adjust so that if there's a lot of weight in the back, the rear end won't sag, which can lead to dangerous understeer. Another advantage of air suspension is that at the touch of a button, you can raise your Ram 1500 to increase ground clearance by another two inches. Alternatively, to improve fuel economy, you can lower your Ram 1500 for a more aerodynamic profile or to more easily get into Ram view or passenger have mobility issues. The Ram 1500 Limited also has deployable running boards that automatically activate when you open a door and they close when your vehicle begins to move. My Ram 1500 Limited Crew Cab had a bedline 5 foot 7 inch bed, although a 6 foot 4 inch bed is available as well. Maximum payload is 2300 pounds. The tailgate is power assisted so it drops slowly, you can even split the 60-40 tailgate vertically if you so desire. Apparently the tailgate can handle up to 2000 pounds of weight, but that does seem a bit far fetched to be honest. I personally wouldn't drive up anything heavier than an ATV or a motorcycle on a ramp, but again Ram claims that you can basically hang a Civic off your tailgate.
Last but certainly not least is the inclusion of the RAM box cargo system on each side of the bed. It's very helpful if you're a tradesperson you want to keep your tools out of the bed. The storage compartment is locked and watertight and even includes a 400 watt 3 prong power plug inside. However, it's important to know that 400 watts is likely not going to be enough for most power tools. That said, 400 watts should be enough for most non-industrial applications. So now that we covered the RAM 1500 exterior, notable features in bed, let's jump inside and take a look at the RAM 1500 interior. In my opinion, the RAM 1500 and limited trim specific are just the king of luxury in the pickup truck category. Not only that, but the RAM 1500's interior is as nice as any other comparable luxury car from competing brands such as Mercedes-Benz or Volvo. The entire cabin is full of open and soft touch fabrics such as suede and features top notch stitching that you expect to see in a high end furniture. Even the side panels or doors have quilted leather side rests and the level of luxury from the RAM 1500 is significantly higher than most people would expect from a pickup truck. The dash even uses real wood inlays which is a nice upscale touch. The steering was excellent as well as from here you control volume media as well as your adaptive cruise control and some vehicle settings to the instrument gauge cluster. When it comes to seating, leather seats are both heated and cooled and they have memory functions. They are very comfortable and I love them even for long road trips. The Ram 1500 just has massive amounts of leg and headroom, the crew cab is just so comfortable. If you're used to driving a sedan or a car, you'll feel like you're driving your apartment around town when you jump into a Ram 1500. In the back for example, when you lift the seats, there's just so much room in the back and the floor is flat which means if you wanted to, you could put down a small air mattress and a blanket and sleep in the back of the cab. Big kudos to Ram engineers to push in the transmission column under the cab so that the rear aisle is fully flat. In the rear passenger is also access to a 4 inch watt power outlet, USB ports and climate control access including heated and cool seats. Now my favorite feature of the RAM 1500 just has to be how well the storage compartments are designed and implemented. RAM engineers just knocked it out of the park again. In the center console the design is utterly superb. The console area is large and super customizable allowing you to move the cup holders and spaces as you see fit. There's even a 400 watt power outlet down there as well as space for your phone that supports remote charging. I run two full size DSLRs as well as loads of camera equipment so when I do shoots I can throw my work here in the center console where it's easily accessible if I need to get to work. When you lift the leather console up there's even a quick reference or math equations case you need to convert units from metric to imperial or remember practical mathematics like trigonometry on a work site. Definitely a cool but also potentially useful easter egg. I really love the design and the functionality, especially if you're a busy person or someone who always has lots of equipment on them. Last but certainly not least is the 12 inch touchscreen infotainment system which is powered by the Uconnect 4C operating system. Sound is provided by an excellent 19 speaker harmonic card and sound system. While the screen is impressive, you can still manually change your volume and climate control with the buttons next to the screen which I think is something I really appreciate. You can also control your cabin climate through the screen as well as access your phone when paired via Bluetooth. The limiter also lets you access onboard navigation as well as change your vehicle settings. You can change anything from how bright your screen is to even whether you want your car to warn you when you drive by a speed trap. The Ram 1500 is super customizable and you can change it to whatever way you want it to be. The Ram 1500 Limited will also have cameras that let you see all around the vehicle as well as proximity sensors that warn you when you get too close to nearby objects. Now that we've talked about how well this Ram does inside, let's put this pickup in a drive and hit the road. The first thing I want to talk about is air suspension, more specifically just how utterly incredible it is the damping both on and off road bumps and jitters. The Ram air suspension is as close to perfection as it could possibly imagine it to be. Even off road the Ram suspension is so good that I can't even describe it in a YouTube video. 
I drove the around with some really bumpy off-road trails and logging roads and I could go highway speed and it would literally feel as if I was driving on pavement. That's incredible. If you work in Fort Mac or you're in the forestry industry and you spend a lot of time driving on forest service roads to get to work sites or you drive on rough terrain, the Ram is definitely one of the most comfortable ways to get there. Driving the Ram off-road feels so good and the Ram is definitely at its best when the pavement ends. As expected, 4x4 with auto, high, and low lockers are standard, however, the Limited does not have a rear lock in their ventral, which is something I do like to have if I'm off-road on some really gnarly terrain. Even on the pavement though, the Ram is still very good and has excellent refined handling that is just buttery smooth. The cabin is also really, really well isolated from road noise and it's as quiet as it's going to get in the cabin when you're driving on the tarmac. However, here's where some of the downsides start to stack up. As I promised early in the review, I would get back to explaining the eTorque and MDS systems on the Ram 500. The eTorque system is a mild hybrid system with a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi, and the idea is that when you press on the gas, the electric motor will help out the gas engine which increases starting torque and improves fuel economy. When you brake, the e-torque system will convert that energy into electricity that is stored in a small 0.4 kilowatt hour battery behind the receipts. On top of this, the MDS system or multiple displacement system detects engine loads and if not all 8 cylinders are needed, the V8 essentially becomes a 4 cylinder engine to save fuel. So sounds perfect right? The Ram 1500 must get like 8000 miles per gallon. No, not even close. I'll call things out when I see them and I got nowhere near the advertised 23 miles per gallon or 12 liters per 100 kilometers. I'll just say that if you're going to drive a lot, expect to pay a lot, especially with gas prices the way they are today, inching more $5 a gallon. Also, I found the throttle to be a bit touchy, however, at the same time, acceleration was less than I had expected. The Ram 1500 could supposedly do 0 to 60 in less than 8 seconds, but I was getting closer to 10 seconds high, which is very, very slow. Not sure why, but you're not winning any quarter lap times for sure. However, besides the poor fuel economy and slow acceleration, the Ram 1500 is still excellent on the road, and who's racing pickup trucks anyway? Also, to be honest, if you're looking at Ram 1500 Limited, gas probably isn't an issue for you anyway, especially considering how good the Ram is when taken all together. Last but not least is the towing, and the Ram 1500 can tow up to 12,500 pounds. Pulling heavy loads can make the back end sag, even on heavy duty coils, but the air suspension will auto level the truck, which makes towing heavy loads so much easier. So now that we're at the end of the review, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking to the end. If you liked the review or learned something new, please leave a good like or a sub as it helps the channel grow and it really means a lot to a content creator like myself. If you didn't like the video or disagree with me, please leave a comment telling me why or dislike so I know. I'll do my best to get to every single person in the comments below. So to wrap up, the Ram 1500 is a luxurious epic pickup truck that only lacks in fuel economy and 0-60 to performance. Otherwise, the Ram 1500 Limit is a total win in my opinion. In fact, someday, I'm probably going to get one myself. Thanks so much for watching.